Welcome, this is Jeff from the Watkins Tree Farm. How are you guys? It is Antarctica. No, it is cold in Kansas. We were just in the 50s a few days ago, and now I believe it's 11 degrees. Yesterday this high was 10 degrees, and we had some snow. They were predicting four to six inches, but as usual, we got maybe a trace yesterday and a bunch of sleet and a little bit of ice. And then last night it made up for uh, the lack of snow and I think we got an inch and a half, two inches. Today I wanted to make a video of wishing you guys Happy New Year. Uh, 2021 was a great year for us and the channel. We got monetized, we put a lot of content out there and I uh, got to meet a lot of you guys. I also wanted to do a kind of a one year anniversary of the John Deere 1026R. I can't believe it has been a year. And so that's what I wanted to do today about that tractor. If you have a couple acres and you're tired of breaking your back and making things work and moving things and trying to use your truck, this tractor is for you. But I have that small Christmas tree farm and a lot of little projects around here and I can't imagine what I did with that, without that tractor before. So we're gonna kinda go down memory lane and I wanna help some of you guys wondering if these John Deere 1025 R's are for you. So I started last year spreading rock on the driveway and that went really smooth and I learned how to use the loader and I feel like it went pretty well. And then I also uh, used the box blade to uh, uh, work the driveway and I did that quite a bit of times and it is so nice to be on your own schedule uh, That's the big thing about this tractor is you're not on someone else's schedule If you want to work your driveway get on your tractor get the box blade out and work your driveway I also was able to help the neighbors out with my tractor and I helped myself out I got a tiller for the tractor and that tiller was so nice to use I was able to uh, go over to the neighbors and uh, work their garden area for their garden. And I was also able to come over here and work my ground before we planted the Christmas trees. So tilling was uh, very nice. And uh, these tractors, I called it before, but it is a Swiss army knife. Uh, you could put that box blade on there, the tiller on there, and there's so many other attachments. I just don't have the Benjamins, baby. I need to get the Benjamins to get more attachments, but I'm not made of money. And then one thing about these tractors that you can't really quantify is the things that you use them for that people don't talk about. Um, moving rocks over here. I was able to bring the tractor over there, get the loader, and throw the rocks in there. That was so nice. The bridge. The bridge over here that I... Where is that thing? Where'd it go? It's always backwards. There it is. See it right, right there. There's the bridge. I was able to take the tractor, kind of redneck engineer it, and uh, get the tractor on that front loader and move it over there into place. So, uh, yeah, you can't quantify the things that you can use for that tractor. Another kind of uh, deal that we did was we figured out a way to uh, plant off the back of the uh, tractor using the uh, carry-all. Uh, I think I'm gonna put a video on. That worked for a while, but what we ended up doing was just sitting on the carry-all and driving and planting, and that worked really well. I've showed this on the channel before, but uh, I was able to use the tractor in there. That helped so much. It expedited the process. I was able to get the dirt out of there. I was able to move mulch in there, and that tractor made it so easy. So if you're looking, wondering about these tractors, I think it's going to be a good purchase for you if you have a couple to maybe 10 acres, work around your uh, place, have, have some projects. This tractor is made for you. One thing I did forget about is these tractors also have a belly motor or a belly mower option. And so I know the belly mowers are kind of expensive, but if that's something that kind of works into your realm, I say go for it. 
Uh, they're pretty easy to put the mower on. The 60 inch mower that I have makes short work of this property and I need to get it on there more often. Shame on me. So in 2022, I will use that belly mower a lot more. And then just recently, we had that tree blow down and we did some cleanup and I was able to uh, get those uh, bolt-on forks onto the loader of the tractor and we were able to move so much wood back where it needed to be and sit it up there up front. And so the tractor came in so handy for that. My actual tractor is a 2012 John Deere 1026R. They made the 1026R for two years, and then uh, after 2012, they called them the 1025R, and that's how they are nowadays. So if you're looking for a nice little tractor to help with your property, I'm gonna point you this way. This little guy is a workhorse, and there's tons of attachments out there that you can get for it and you'll be very, very happy. Well guys, that's gonna do it for today. It is very cold, and I'm gonna go back in and warm up, but I wanted to reach out to you guys, wish you a happy new year, and also, if you're new to this channel and you're looking for a tractor, why don't you subscribe to this channel, go check out my videos, and hopefully I can persuade you to get a 1025R John Deere tractor. Uh, Man, if you look at all the videos I did in 2021, I don't know how we would have done the Christmas tree farm without that tractor. So thank you guys. You take care. God bless, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.